Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Our time here in Miami has come to an end, so we are traveling a little bit further up north in the state of Florida to the city of Orlando. There are a lot of fun activities to do there, so join us on this amazing adventure. And welcome to Orlando, Florida. We got here in just a little bit over three hours. It's a super chill drive on the Florida Turnpike and we're a little hungry, so we're gonna go to Kobe Japanese restaurant and have some dinner. Dinner was absolutely amazing. We all enjoyed it. Uh, they have here tepanyaki, so they cook in front of you. We got shrimp and scallop with a bunch of fried rice and noodles. Absolutely loved it. If you guys are in Orlando, check this place out. And now we're gonna go and lounge by the pool. And we're back. We're gonna chill here at the hotel by the pool, enjoy a nice ice cold beer, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today, we're gonna do one of the most popular activities here in Orlando, Florida, and that is to visit Disney World. So Disney Parks has a lot of resorts around the world, and most of them are the Magic Kingdom one, like the one in Paris, in Japan, and so on. So they just have the park with a castle and the princesses. But here in Orlando, it's very unique because they have actually four parks. The one that we're gonna visit today is called Animal Kingdom and it has a very special place with a very special ride that we're gonna go and queue for it right away because usually the queue times are very, very long. So it's gonna be super, super good. I hope I'm gonna be able to film something inside. I cannot guarantee, but if you're ever in the area, Animal Kingdom in that particular area is an absolute must. Welcome to Pandora, the magical world of Avatar, as you can see by the floating mountains behind me. Now here in the Pandora area of Disney's Animal Kingdom, you will find a very special ride. It's called Flight of Passage. So the queue time right now is about one hour, but usually it's three to four hours. That's how popular this ride is. So this one is an absolute must. It doesn't even matter. You can wait two, three hours. You're still going to love it and probably going to go again. So we're gonna go queue up right now and we're gonna join uh, the 50 to 60 minute queue. So unfortunately we couldn't film inside, inside Flight of Passage, there was no filming allowed and it's also, it's a 3D ride so it's moving all over the place, you can't really hold your camera, but it was absolutely amazing. So we actually bought a fast pass or lightning lane, the way they call it now, you can pay $11 and actually skip the line next time, but it's breathtaking. Even if it's a long wait, trust me, you're gonna love it, must do. So since we're here in Pandora, we're also going to do the Navi River Rapids. So this is a boat ride, a very gentle ride, where you travel around Pandora on a little boat. Check it out. So the Navi River journey was really cool. It's a very slow ride, so if you're a little bit afraid of uh, thrill rides, that's a really good one to go. But now we're going again 
on the flight of passage uh, the first time we went we went standby now we got a fast pass so we absolutely love it we're gonna go twice maybe even three times we'll see so we're now leaving the pandora area here in the park and we're gonna go ahead and find something to eat so staying here was absolutely amazing we loved it both the rides here are an absolute must and the whole area is just made so so nice so lunch was nothing special and as per the usual i forgot to record it i always tell christina to remind me but she never does why don't you ever remind me i always tell her remind me to film lunch and then we always forget but anyway we're gonna explore around adventure island which is the central part of the park here and then we're gonna head on to africa and welcome to africa everything is africa themed over here including the singers is really really cool and one of the nicest things to do here in africa is actually the kilimanjaro safari so it's an actual safari animal kingdom has a huge outdoor area so we're gonna board a truck just here and then we're gonna join the safari line. you like the African safari? It's actually super cool. Um, we've seen a lot of animals today. I don't know if it's because it was raining. We've been on this safari probably like five, six times, but I feel like today we've seen the most animals ever. So it was super nice. Um, a lot of beautiful animals. We stayed in really nice positions to take some very cool pictures and videos. So I'm super happy. And that's it for today. Uh, this ends our visit here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're gonna call it for tonight and go and get some rest. And tomorrow, we're gonna go to Epcot. Good morning. I woke up this morning to film a time-lapse of the sunrise. We're not really morning people. We don't do sunrises that much. We're more sunset kind of people but today it was really really worth it i had two other tries and in both days yesterday and the day before it was cloudy so it was ruined i was super disappointed but this one oh my god check this one out Welcome to Epcot. We're in for a treat today. As you can see behind me, it's the 50th year celebration and we're visiting during the Beer, Food and Wine Festival. So it's gonna be a lot of differences um, from last time that we visited. And there's also a special show tonight. So let's go check out the park. One of the nicest rides you can find here in Epcot is called Soaring Around the World. So it's kind of a 3D ride. It's actually here, just down here. And basically you kind of go flying around the world in different places. Super, super cool if you ever find yourself in Epcot. This one is a must do.
So Epcot is built in two loops. The first loop that you encounter, which is this one that we've been doing, you will find all the different attractions and rides, and this is where Soaring is, where Test Track, the launch over there. And now the second loop, which we're entering right now, is where you can find all the different countries. So there are several countries all in a loop like that, where you can find all the local culture, restaurants, and everybody working in that particular country. Mexico will be the first one that we enter. Everybody there is from Mexico. After that, you will find Norway, the US, Canada, the UK, everything else like that. But it's really, really cool because they are made specifically to look like the country and the workers are from there. Super interesting, check it out. Buenos dias y bienvenido a México. We're gonna go inside this beautiful temple for the Grand Fiesta. The next country on the list here is Norway and the main attraction is the frozen 3D ride. Now there's always, always a long wait on this one. I think it's mostly because it's a more slower ride. It just takes longer to process the people through it. Uh, thankfully we got the lightning pass, jump the line uh, deal for this one. So we're gonna go check it out right now. wine festival part of this adventure we came here to Kenya to Africa and we got this beef tenderloin and a piri piri shrimp skewer which one do you want to try first? the piri piri shrimp I'm super excited about that one super tasty spicy no no really really good Very tender, as expected for tenderloin. And this is kind of like a mashed potato, but I don't think it's mashed potato. What is it? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's a grain, I think, but it's super delicious. It tastes it like it was made in curry, marinated in curry or something. Really good. Really nice with the food and wine festival that you can try different things from around the world. What do you have there? Our Chakari cup. Mm. We've been to like half the countries and I'm already full, but this looks so good we had to try it. Mmm, delicious. The last ride for tonight is gonna be Ratatouille's Adventure, which is here in France. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the hotel chill out for a little bit and then return it's about 7 20 right now and the final show begins at 9 45 but we've been here all day so we need a little bit of rest we're gonna go chill for an hour and then come back Remy's ride was absolutely awesome. We loved it. It was a combination of a 3D ride with like a couple of roller coaster like scenarios. It's not going up and down, but it is riding around. It was really, really cool. Definitely must try. And it's a virtual queue for it. So you queue on your app when you get here and then they call you when your time comes. So it's really easy to get to. Must try, absolutely. Loved it. Now we're gonna head back to our hotel, rest for a little bit and then return for the light show. Our time here in Orlando is up. We loved enjoying the parks, trying out all the food, the wine, the beer, everything was just wonderful. And we're gonna have to head on back now. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And as always, stay safe, be nice to each other, and we'll see you again next time.